So, you have an idea, and you believe you may need patent protection. Our system at this site will help you. But first, you need to be clear on the nature of your invention and the sort of patent protection that will be appropriate. There are several different types of applications for patents. Here is a design patent issued for an action figure. A design patent provides protection for the aesthetic value of the thing illustrated in the patent, that is, the look. In this case, the look of a toy action figure. The patent owner can contest action figures that look substantially like the figure shown, but there is considerable detail, and many action figures that are close will not infringe. Here is the front page of a plant patent for a peach tree. A plant patent is granted to an inventor, or to the inventor's heirs or assigns, who has invented or discovered and asexually reproduced a distinct and new variety of plant. This is an early plant patent, 1943. The full patent includes a very complete biological description of the fruit tree, including descriptions of the trunk, the leaves, the fruit, color, texture, and much more. Plant patents constitute a very small portion of patents issued. For example, fewer than 2,000 in 2012. We cannot show you a provisional patent because there actually isn't any such thing. A provisional patent application is a set of drawings and a description of an invention. There are no claims filed, no formal matters, and the application is never examined and can never become an issued patent. It simply establishes a filing date for the invention described. To take advantage of the filing date, a non-provisional patent application must be filed within one year. And even then, the earlier filing date is only effective for exactly what was described in the provisional application. Our patent rights restored system is developed to guide you to prepare and file non-provisional utility patent applications. If you need a design or a plant patent, we will provide a system for those at some future time. The non-provisional application includes drawings and a specification following very specific requirements. The specification also includes a set of claims that recite exactly what you, the inventor, believes to be the patentable features of the invention. Your complete non-provisional patent application gets filed in the United States Patent and Trademark Office. After some period of time, a search is done and your application is thoroughly examined to determine if your claimed invention is patentable over what was in the public domain at the time of your filing. In this examination process, you have to convince the examiner that your claims recite patentable subject matter. When you get to the examination phase, we will be there with resources to guide you through the examination. With success, you will have an issued U.S. patent. The principal reason inventors choose to file a provisional patent application instead of a non-provisional application is the high cost of legal representation and the fact that there has, until now, been no good guidance system to help you prepare a non-provisional patent application. This situation has spawned an entire industry directed at taking money from inventors to help them file a provisional patent application. There are a considerable number of enterprises of this sort, and they do not deliver anything of real value. That problem is now solved. Following our professional guidance, provided in a step-by-step -step series of videos and other multimedia resources, you can prepare and file a solid and valuable non-provisional patent application, skip the provisional application and the patent attorney, and save the $10,000 or more for developing your product or service. You need to understand before you begin that preparing a complete and professional non-provisional patent application, even with the experienced help and guidance we provide, is a big job. 
You will have to devote time and effort and even learn skills you have not practiced before. But this is not rocket science, and you can do it. It will be a rewarding adventure in the end, and may be very rewarding in other ways as well. If you are motivated to do this, go to step number two in our navigation guide to determine the heart of your invention.